Welcome back to AlbumDS video tutorials. I will show you now the basics about AlbumDS. Starting at this version, AlbumDS has been converted into an extension for Photoshop. This has clear advantages being the most noticeable, the speed improvement and better communication. You may continue placing AlbumDS window anywhere in your monitor. Even better if you have a two monitor system and you can place it in the second one leaving the first for your design. And of course, you may resize the window by dragging on the sides like any other Photoshop extension. AlbumDS interface is divided into panels. I will explain you now the basics of each panel. Panels are placed in the order they are most used and pictures is the first, but I need to explain you before the fu function of configuration and album panels. The configuration panel is similar to the preferences window in previous versions. First of all, you have to select the interface language and set the measurement system. Other options will be explained in the next tutorials. The album panel is used for creating new albums, opening already made and setting the album size. Please remember, each album should be created using the new album option. This way, all pictures and sheets used by the previous album are no longer visible and you can add new ones for this album. The album panel has its own menu available by clicking the right mouse button. Please notice that from this version, album details are saved into a database file, but the pictures does need to be in a picture subfolder and the sheets may be saved in any folder. The first panel is for pictures. This is the place where you can see the pictures you have added to your project and are ready to be used in your designs. By moving the mouse over a picture, you can see the file name and path in the status bar. Pictures have a pop-up menu available by right-clicking the mouse over a picture. We come back to all the options available in the next tutorials, but for now you need to know that a mouse over preview is available and you may resize this preview window by dragging at the double arrow icon at the bottom. A great change has been introduced with this version and it's that the picture management feature is no longer available simply because you don't need it. Pictures are no longer copied into the picture subfolder. You can add pictures from any folder into the project. And even better, you can add them by dragging the files into AlbumDS or you may use the option Add Pictures from the pop-up menu. AlbumDS saves the path to the file in the database and shows the, sh the thumbnail. As you may imagine, by removing the pictures you are not deleting the file, only removing the path and thumbnail from the album database. Also, you can drag now the pictures to reorder them. Please notice that there is a small difference on how dragging works in PC and Mac. In Mac you have to make the window active before dropping files in it, and reordering is always made inserting the selected elements after the current one. The second panel is for sheets. These are the sheets you have already designed for this album, but you may add sheets at any time by dragging the PSD file into AlbumDS or selecting the option Add Sheets from the right mouse button menu. Of course, you may reorder the sheets in the tab and even rename the files following this order. Also, a sheet preview option is available. The templates panel logically shows the templates. Please remember that in the demo version you don't have all templates included but it will not mark your pictures or sheets, so feel free to create a few albums and test the application. At right, you have the template folders and you may select any combination of them, or right click to get the filtering menu. A templates pop-up menu is also available and besides from other features, you may preview templates, fully resizable and open the template catalog. 
where you can take a look at all the templates available with the licensed version of Album DS.